Good morning and welcome to Paul T's World. And in this video, we're going to have a look at the hardwood cuttings I took last winter and the winter before, so you can see results and also plant food. Spring is the time to feed your plants, so we'll have a look at the plant food I use. But before we do any of that, let's just have a look at these flowers behind me. The deciduous azaleas just come out. And my lovely new little rhododendron is just getting its first flowers. But this video is about those hardwood cuttings. I hope many of you followed me and made those hardwood cuttings last winter. And in this video, I'm going to show you what happened with the ones from the previous winter. I was going to clean up these pots and make them beautiful for my video, but then I decided no. We'll show you them exactly as they are in my area at the side of the garden. So I've literally just pulled them out of my cuttings area. And indeed, it will also show you that I don't look after hardwood cuttings. I make them, I put them in the corner and I leave them. And then the following year, I pot them up, I put them in the corner and I leave them. And this is the result. So let's have a look at these results. Obviously, this is a Ygela, a white Ygela from the corner of my garden. Let's see what I put here. Ygela, white. So I'll clean those up because now that can be planted in the garden, can't it? And what have we got here? And this is wanting to flower as well. And I recognize those flowers. This is a Dutzia. So it's from my Dutzia, the one I featured in the last video. So Dutzias take really well. Ygelas take really well. Oh, and here is another Dutzia. So these were cuttings from the winter before last. Just look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? What else have we got? Here we are. As I say, I haven't cleaned these up at all. These are literally how I left them over the winter. And this is a Philadelphus from the front garden. Here's another Dutzia. They take so well, don't they? Look at that. Fabulous. Oh, and another one. I don't want you to think that all your cuttings will take and indeed that all mine took those are the results from about 20 or 25 cuttings that i made but wasn't it worth it they're fabulous and now let's have a look at the cuttings i took and you watch me take them this last winter and here they are i can see straight away that we have got a pink ygela uh, Oh, and a Dutzia. So this is a Dutzia here. Now, I did what I don't advise. I actually put two different plant cuttings in the same pot, and I don't advise that. And the reason is they often develop in at different stages. So these might be rooted and these might not. Don't be totally fooled by all the leaves and everything. The roots take a lot longer to form. And here we have, looks like the same again, doesn't it? It looks like I've put some dudes here in here and Ygela here. And what have we got here? So important to put in exact, all oh, this, Oh, this is a white Ygela as well. As you can see, I put them in vermiculite. That's vermiculite. Now I'm just trying to remember what I did last year. Here I'm putting the cuttings into pots, tall pots. I'm using three different mediums this year, 100% free draining soil, 100% vermiculite, and the third, 50-50. 50% vermiculite and 50% soil. I'm trying to cover all bases here. 100% vermiculite. And this was 100% compost. 
and this was 50 50 50 percent vermiculite and 50 percent compost now then i think we've learned something here these are less developed than these and that is because the vermiculite holds moisture beautifully but there's no nutrients in it so it's got no nutrients i should have been feeding these with a liquid feed and i haven't i've just literally left them that's what i said i do so i should have been feeding this but these yeah these have got food directly in there let's just have a look and see if there's any no i can't see any roots coming through so talking about food let's go and have a look at some of the food that you can feed your cuttings and plants i get my water from the water butts here i've got two here and i've also got three down the side of the house here these are 200 liters each so i have the water come down the downspout here and fills up this water butt. I have another downpipe here that fills this one. And then the two of those, when they're full, they fill the middle one. And this is where I keep my plant food. So let's just have a look what I use. I've got some miracle Grow Azalea, Camellia and Rhododendron food. I use a lot of tomato food. Any type of tomato food is fine. Every now and again, I treat the plants to some RHS ericaceous feed and biostimulant. And then we've got a food here that I'm very excited about. This company, Andermatt UK Home and Garden, they sent me this to try out. It's a biological fertilizer grow pure natural and mighty liquid fertilizer so let's just use this one you have to push the lid in hard so that you can open it it's a childproof lid you're supposed to fill the cap but i never do that there's a cap full that'll do me so i'll put a cap full of food in and then fill this container full this um, watering can it's probably about a gallon or so i'm not precise with all this i just slop a bit in the watering can fill it up and then feed the plants and it's really important feeding plants they respond so well there we go that's just about full so let's go and water some plants it's quite heavy, a full watering can. When I water, I tend to absolutely drench. Now look at all those weeds we've got in there. As I say, I haven't cleaned this up for the benefit of the video. I wanted to show you exactly what my pots look like. I get weeds everywhere. Look at this, look at all the moss in there. But it doesn't matter. I'll clean them up. So I absolutely drench them like that. And now that I'm doing this video on the cuttings, I think it's time that these were planted out. The company Andermatt UK that sent me that biological fertilizer has actually decided to give all my lovely viewers 15% discount on all their Grow Pure products. What is it? Lawn, fruit and veg. That includes lawn food, fruit and veg food, general food as the one I've used just now for all your plants and they even do food for house plants. And I'll put the link down below with the discount code. And I'll see you next time in Paul T's World. Bye.